So I want to invite Patty to come up here. And I was blown away by what happened in her life just this past week, two weeks ago. Come on up, Patty. And she's going to share. And I hope that this builds your faith uh, in, in Christ, who does miracles today as he did back years ago. Oops. That good? Okay, thanks, Betty. Thank you, Pastor Bill. Hello, everyone. I'm here to share my testimony of healing. What happened was, in uh, mid-October, I found a large lump in my left breast. That was about the size of a lime, which is about this big. So it scared me so badly. I thought it was probably the last stage of a cancer. Then I went to the emergency at the, ho at the Montfort Hospital. The doctor did physical exam. A few days later, I had an ultrasound for that lump. But the image wasn't clear enough. So the doctor didn't know what's inside. That lump was still large and hard. Anyway, he said he wanted a mammogram and a repeat ultrasound. But I need to wait for a call to get an appointment in two weeks. I said, ah, that's too long to wait. And that worried me even more. I went um, back home with um, negative emotions. I was full of fears. I cried because of it. However, I kept on praying and asking Jesus for a miracle of healing. On the next day, my husband, Cami, could you stand up please, Cami? Okay, don't, uh, don't be shocked if he looks just like Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> but the Chinese version and the younger version. Yeah, anyway, Cammy called me from work. He said, Hi, honey. Pastor Bill asked if you would like him to pray for you at our house this evening. With his uh, charming voice, right? And then I said with my beautiful voice, oh, that's very nice of him. Um, but I would rather seeing him at the church. Then Cammy said, all right, let me call and ask him. And later on, Cammy called me back. And he said, all right, honey, Pastor B said, okay. Yeah, and um, in that evening, we both went to this church. We went um, in the prayer room. We met Pastor Bill, Peter, and another Peter. Actually, the two handsome Peters, okay? Yeah, and um, before, they all, they all prayed for me. Pastor Bill asked me, Patty, do you believe in miracle healing by Jesus? And I said, yes, absolutely, I do. Then he said, amen. And he anointed me um, with uh, the oil on my forehead. After that, they all prayed for me. And I felt so blessed in that evening. The day after, I woke up and a shake on that lump, guess what? It got smaller, hallelujah! Yeah, and the, the next day, it became even more smaller. And um, I, I, I can say it, it, it shrunk about 20% each day. And you know what? It has almost disappeared 
in five days. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and I, I, I said a big thank to God. Praise the Lord. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. Thank you. On the next day, uh, oh no, uh, on November the 1st, I had to go back to um, the Hmong First Hospital for my mammogram and another ultrasound. A few days later, I received a call from my family doctor. He told me that I got negative mammogram and ultrasound results. That meant there is no sign of cancer. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, um, so I, I thought I, I received a, a miracle of healing from Jesus. I said thanks to him for so many times. And you know what? Finally, no biopsy, no treatment, and no medication. Cool, eh? Yeah. So that's what I want. But anyway, I just need a follow checkup in the next six months. Amen? All right. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to say many thanks to Pastor Bill, um, Peter, and another Peter. Yeah, and of course, my uh, beloved uh, husband, Cammy, for praying for me in the prayer room. And also, many thanks to uh, Pastor Jock and Maria, who prayed for me before I, I went to um, Montfort Hospital on the first day. And uh, also, a lot of people who prayed for me as well, such as Marion, Tavi, Nahir, Bianca, Pat, and there's so many good friends on Facebook, live application, emails. Actually, um, there's so many friends, and I, I, I just don't have enough time to mention on their names. If, if I do that, I may need a big, long list and keep, keep on reading their names until tomorrow morning or the day after. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, in the end, I am most thankful to God for his grace and unconditional love. From what happened to me, it made me more strengthened by faith in Jesus Christ. Dear church, we all are God's children, okay? And no matter what happens, God is greater than our fears. And he always listened to our prayers. So please keep praying to the Lord. Keep working with God. Keep reading the Bible. And keep preaching the gospel to people. And one day, we will be with God together in heaven. Everyone, everybody says, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. May God bless you and your family. Thank you.